This somehow feels so appropriate as Mongolia just tearing down Chinese shitty walls. I really couldn't have asked for a more accurate scenario. Finally, I know, I am back playing Civilization VI. It has been, I think, like two months or something like that since I released any sort of video on this game. And uh, we're also playing with the new Rise and Fall expansion provided to me by 2K. So this is going to be an early access look. And uh, we're going to be playing with good old Mongolia. And since this is only early access, we only get to play up to the first 150 turns which is kind of perfect because I can package this all into one video. But of course, if you like this and you want to see more, I'll return in the future when the expansion actually drops and do a full campaign. So I really like this start. We're going to get some nice bonuses, some science bonuses specifically around these mountain ranges. And I am playing on a Pangea map, so I'm considering going scout first. Yeah, let's do that. There goes the first city state. I think it's a culture, right? Yeah, something like that. I have no idea what this means, by the way. I know we'll be able to flip cities again. I just have no idea how. We got a nice chunk of land right here. Lots of resources, and it doesn't seem like there's any sieve around. So I grabbed those ruins, and I guess I got plus one era score out of this. Again, we're learning together, because I, I don't know what any of this new stuff means, to be honest. Oh, good, good. Paradox has made a cameo. Okay, so there's some tundra up here, which means we're near the northern pole. Uh, I, I mean, I probably should have figured that out either way. That could have been a simple observation. Which, by the way, for all you non-flat earthers out there, how do you explain this? That's right. Checkmate. Atheists. Oh, we've met China. Okay, so they're gonna have a pretty sexy wall, I'm assuming. I hope that they fixed that AI, by the way. They used to kind of just like sporadically build walls. I'm really interested to see if they kind of improved that a little. Also, real quick, before we continue, for all you like Paradox players or Civ 5 players that haven't bought Civ 6 yet, there's an amazing deal on the Humble Bundle uh, monthly package or service that allows you to get Civilization VI for $12. It's actually Civilization VI and two DLCs. And you can help support me by using this link down below. Like if you don't have Civ VI yet and you want to prepare for Rise and Fall, this is the best possible deal. All right, we found ourselves a sexy natural wonder. I think given, yeah, culture and science, which I haven't talked about this yet, but I think I'm gonna go for a religion. This mountain range could really help our holy site district. All right, well, it's turn 13. And I can already tell we're about to have some barbarian problems. Definitely. Oh, that's sweet, China. Look at that. They're protecting my city. I didn't have anyone here because I'm an idiot. But uh, there are barbarians, and a lot of them, right behind this fog of war. This is a pretty amazing tile. And uh, I could give it to my campus, but let's let's go ahead and do the religious thing. Yeah, I've been playing for like 20 turns, and I haven't even checked what this civ's all about. Like, I kind of just assumed, okay, Genghis Khan, I, you know, I know what's up. I know about these. But what else do you got? Cavalry bonus, kind of figured that. Trade route bonus. And of course, just more combat. All right, you know what? I didn't even need to read this shit. Never mind. Oh, I'm kind of dumb for not realizing this sooner. Um, obviously, we're next to China. And as the Mongolians, we've got a lot of shitty walls to tear down. All right, so Tamiris is over here, which means I'm pretty much safe. I don't have much to worry about. Oh, that is not good. Okay, this is like the strongest barbarian unit to pop up. And I'm dumb for... Bringing my warrior all the way over here. Hey, you know what? My scout's not doing too bad, though. All right, let's, let's try it. Yeah, maybe this will be okay. And there's our Pantheon. Okay, so I also have been checking. No one's on the board yet in terms of great profits, so I think we should get a religion. I don't see anything new in terms of these Pantheons. At least I don't think so. That's kind of surprising. I guess this is fine. This will have a nice impact for the rest of the game. Especially if we need that extra food after we turn communist. Tamiris just saved me. Thank you very much, babe. I love you. I'll send you that child support money later. China sending me spices, tea, and silk. Uh, that That's fine. I'll, I'll take that. All right, here's our first look at the governors. We've got some interesting looking ones. I mean, this guy's just sleeping. Maybe he has narcolepsy. I don't know. Let's choose him. He gives a lot of religious bonuses too. So this actually works pretty well. Damn, I just noticed we're not growing for shit. Yeah, we gotta, we gotta change that. I'm kind of afraid to just send my scout out. Since this is around the time where barbarians are just like totally pillaging and... Raping everything. Oh, there's Teddy. Good old Teddy. Had that liposuction done. Used to be a lot bigger. Oh, and we got the K-pop star coming up too. Ooh, all right. I'm definitely okay with this. Yep, it's about that time we purchased a settler because uh, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to build one. Let's just, let's just buy them. Also, before people start asking me, yes, I am definitely considering doing a big TSL game with all the new civs on a uh, huge earth map. That would have to be a series. So running across multiple videos, I'm a little worried about that, but, you know, we'll see. Oh, this is new. So we've got, like, new influence identifiers. Wow, people would get really pissed if I settled a city here. 
I'm assuming this is where Washington or Korea is. So I can either choose to get a new governor or promote the guy that I already have. Um, we are going to settle our second city, but I don't see how these guys can be that useful. Let's go ahead and promote this dude. The city-state was already killed. Wow. All right, well, we've only met four other AIs. There's at least uh, two others. Yeah, two others. All right, now Teddy's going after someone. Um, I feel like we're going to see one of those emergencies pretty soon here. And it's France. Okay, so they're the second to last Civ we haven't met yet. Oh, joint war against China. Um, yeah, I'm trying to think where China even is. I can't, I can't really remember. All right, yeah, you know what? Let's just do it. We both have our weird little horse kinks. Let's go ahead and start working together. Oh, okay, so they're right here. We're also having some barbarian problems in the north. And uh, yeah, I just realized I only have a scout and a warrior. Yep, just a scout and a warrior. I might have made a huge mistake. All right, there's the last person. It's Trajan. He's probably pretty far, not worried about him. Yeah, so I just purchased an archer. Even if we have like this huge horse army, we're probably gonna need some range units anyways, so this this works. Oh, nice, and I think I'm about to have a golden age. I don't even know how I did that. It just kind of happened. Boom, there we go. So is this a golden age or one of those historic ages? Oh, okay, I guess we're in a golden age. And does it tell us who's in a dark age? That'd be pretty cool. I think that's basically what these icons are saying. Oh, no one's in a dark age. They're all in normal ages except for me, Teddy, and Tomiris. So I get to make a choice in terms of my dedication. I've heard about these. I don't understand them. I'm going for this weird religious game, but at the same time, I know I'm going to launch, like, this invasion to take over the entire globe. I guess I'll use this for now. Yeah, let's do that for now. Oh, there's my great prophet. Perfect. So I think we're the first one. Dang, yeah, we're the first one by far to get a religion. All rumor has it, Rome has conquered a lost city. What, is, what does that mean? Lost. I really like that there's all these religions I can choose from, but I really wish they had Satanism on here. Oh, I guess I could just customize it. All right, cool. This is going to be fun. Satanism is the true path of salvation. Please ignore all the other ones. Thanks again, John the Baptist. So I really want a third city with access to horses, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to get much housing over here. No, yeah, I wouldn't get very much. There's some down here, though. Oh, and the Natural Wonders right here, too. Okay, that's perfect. I'm going to continue to go after my alliance with Paradox, since they'll be giving me nice science bonuses. And let's get to work on my unique building, which I'm assuming, yeah, that's going to really help with our horse units. Oh, France is going... Oh, hell no, France. You better back off. I think they should be fine, but we need to kind of watch out for them. The U.S. is also starting to be a problem. If they continue to settle out this way, then, uh, yeah, we, we gonna have some issues. Perfect timing. So I just built my unique building, as well as I just got horse resources. So, uh, let's do this. Especially because we're still at war with China, and, uh, it's not like they'd give me a peace deal anyways. My military's really weak right now. Okay, perfect. Stockholm is safe. They peaced out. Uh, I'm also spreading Satanism to my other cities. I feel like this needs a few more sixes. Here's our fourth city, again grabbing more horse resources because I am just using horsemen at the moment, as well as, uh, yeah, it's also gonna kind of block off the U.S. I'm getting a little bit worried. I don't like New York's location. All right, here we go. So I've taken the last couple turns to build up this, uh, kind of small army. I also have reinforcements still coming from the west. I haven't seen any of the Chinese units over here. I don't think this will be difficult. Oh yeah, this seems simple enough. Especially because I'm producing horse units like crazy right now. Oh, here are all their units. Uh, maybe maybe this isn't going to be as easy as I thought. What the hell have you been doing, Tamiris? You have this, I'm assuming, pretty vast empire. You ain't doing shit up here, though. Yeah, he wants peace. Nah, dude. We ain't going to do it. I, I think we can take a city at least. Oh, you know, this is going to be really easy. This started off, this, this city started off at full health at the beginning of this turn. Wow. I don't know what this fist is. That's kind of scary. That's really scary. Why does it feel like this whole thing is just going to blow up? All right, let's go after this second city. Uh, we already took out this encampment up here. Things are going really well. We're getting this bonus called uh, Mongol Horde. What's not awesome is losing this city due to loyalty. So uh, I'm going to put a governor there. I guess that's what we have to do to keep it on our side. This somehow feels so appropriate as Mongolia just tearing down Chinese shitty walls. Yeah! I really couldn't have asked for a more accurate scenario. Uh, yeah, we really don't want to be raising any cities right now, huh? I, I kind of do at the same time. Do I, do I need this city? Yeah, I don't really need it. I, I think I might burn it down. Oh, that sucks. My governor was going to get there one turn from now. This, this is a free city. This is what the game was talking about earlier. Wow, I have to completely retake this guy. And uh, they just got two new swordsmen spawned. And we've just entered the medieval era. 
I'm pretty sure I messed something up, huh? Yeah, things are looking pretty dark. Oh, son of a bitch. <laughs> Alright, so we're in a dark age. That is fantastic. I, I don't know how. You know, we were doing pretty good. We had a Mongol horde on our side. Oh, good, good. Teddy's feeling the same pain. I'm with you, buddy. Dang, things got really dark and scary. Uh, that's kind of cool. Oh, what the hell? China loyalty. No, 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 no. This is interesting because there's kind of a three-way fight. Uh, China's trying to take this city back with a unit as well, but then Scythia's coming down. All for this sort of nomadic city. All right, well, we're going to take this back either way. Uh, we're just going to have to take longer and uh, eventually take the Chinese capital by the time my units heal up. Satanism is also failing because I'm not really doing much with it. I'm sorry. All right, luckily I have the city sieged because uh, for some reason it was a lot easier to take down the walls than it is to actually take down the city's health. This is going to take a lot more horse units. And there's my unique unit. So I had to kind of rush for that guy because it was pretty far down the tech tree. Let's go ahead and try to build one at least. I'm going to take the capital. Whew. Now I can probably peace out and then focus on maybe taking this free city again. All right, let's just take all the things. Yeah, he's down to let me take all the things. Perfect. Oh, this dark age is making it worse. That's why loyalty is so bad. I am dumb. Oh my goodness, Scythia almost stole that from me. Ooh, I am lucky. I am very lucky. All right, yeah, Dark Ages are not fun. Do not get in them, and uh, loyalty is a very big deal, which I really like. Those are two cool mechanics. Also, I've been very lucky this whole time that uh, Teddy likes me because he could have easily walked into this city, maybe taken my capital since all my units were out in the east. All right, well, France decided to declare war on me. I should have expected at least one neighbor was going to backstab me at some point. I've got my units here, though. I think we should be okay, as well as I've got my unique unit. Let's make sure we use him. Yeah, you know what? Actually, looking at things, I could very easily turn this around and uh, go after France if I wanted, but we're about to run out of time here. Yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and take this because uh, why not? Actually, can you give me a luxury? No? All right. That's fine. I'll accept this deal. All right, well, there's the end of our campaign. Uh, again, these free cities really change a lot. So uh, both of these cities ended up revolting because, well, I probably should have learned exactly how to not have that happen. Although I did kind of massively expand and then fall apart. So I guess this was kind of a historical Mongolian campaign. You didn't know I was going for that, huh? I actually really like this historical timeline. When I first heard about this feature, I was kind of just eh about it. It didn't seem very exciting at all. But no, this is this is awesome. It really does make you feel a little bit closer to your civilization. Unfortunately, I was never able to get out of this dark age. That kind of sucks. I think I was close. We were about to turn it around and make it into a historic age. Anyways, guys, as I said earlier, if you don't have Civilization 6, please check out that link to the Humble Bundle uh, monthly subscription. You get Civ 6 forever, and it's a good way to help support me and the channel. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. And of course, big thanks to Drew Meltzer, Wyone, Dank Meme Dealer 69420, Furry Cruz, Ethan Johnson, Hitler Did Nothing Demonetized, Kirby, Stormblade, Elfie, Hayden the Exile Brown, Elijah Senpai, and finally, Drew, you didn't say my last name. If you want to help support me, you can find a link to my Patreon page in the description down below.